I mean, hey, look, I gotta be honest. I'm I'm kind of shocked right now. I mean, I did not expect this. Who would have thought that Ant Man could not beat Justice League? I mean, speechless. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel once again, I'm Robert Storm. If you're finding me for the very first time, be sure to click that subscribe button. So the weekend box office numbers for Ant-Man and the Wasp are in, and it did not beat Justice League. I predicted it was going to beat Justice League. I thought for sure, with the current track record of the MCU, that this movie would easily make at least $105 million, at least over $100 million, and it didn't. It didn't beat Justice League. Oh yeah, boy, it's time to see. Celebrate the DCEU is back on top. I told each and every one of you guys that our time was coming. Our time is now. Fuck you, Marvel. Where's Greg? I want to kiss that crazy son of a bitch. I, I'm speechless. I mean, I got to call it the way I see it. And Ant-Man and the Wasp came in this past weekend with $76 million. Now, many of you guys might think automatically, oh, this is the end of the world. MCU has failed. Oh, superhero fatigue. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You guys are all overreacting because it's not that big of a deal. Because the first Ant-Man movie didn't make it that big in this opening weekend Either. The first Ant-Man film only came in at $57 million. So Ant-Man and the Wasp did do better than the first Ant-Man movie by at least almost $25 million. So if the movie would have made less than the first Ant-Man, then we could all panic. But Ant-Man and the Wasp did manage to do more than the previous film. So no one needs to start, you know, running around saying the sky is falling because it's not. It's not over. Not every MCU film has to hit over $100 million. It isn't something that has to be done. Ant-Man and the Wasp was a much smaller film. If you've seen the film, you know it's a much smaller film. And for all accounts, Black Panther wasn't supposed to do what it did. That was a phenomenon. That was something that wasn't supposed to happen, that it actually happened. And the same thing with Ant-Man. I mean, $76 million on his opening weekend isn't a bad thing. In fact, the first Ant-Man movie total only made $519 million worldwide and only brought in $180 million domestically during its entire theatrical run. And I do think that Ant-Man and the Wasp is going to surpass that. So really, before everybody just automatically starts thinking that this movie is a failure, it's not a failure. If you just look at the numbers, it is clear that Ant-Man and the Wasp is going to do just as good, if not better, than the first Ant-Man movie. You just got to realize what type of movie this is. Now, like, if Black Panther 2 comes out and it makes 75, 76 million dollars on its opening weekend, then that's something to be like, whoa, 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 calm down now, you know, what's going on here? If Avengers 4 comes out and has 76 million dollars, you know, then then we worry, you know, when, when films like Black Panther, Guardians of the Galaxy, and, you know, Avengers start coming at those numbers, then we can start to worry, but Ant-Man is a smaller film, it's what it was supposed to be, so everybody just needs to calm down. I knew it. I told, I tried to tell everybody it was because of that shitty ass and the credit scene. It was a mediocre movie. It was a mediocre sequel. I told all those Marvel fanboys that the day was coming. That man in the watch would not do a hundred million dollars. I tried to tell everybody, but no, everybody thought they knew everything. Well, now who's laughing, huh? This guy. This guy's laughing, ha, 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 me. And I know regardless of what I just said in this video, there are going to be those people out there that are saying this is the end of the MCU, that the king has finally fallen, here comes the DCU. I know there's going to be all kinds of comments of people trying to say that this movie is a failure, and in actuality, if you just look at the numbers, it's not, it's impossible. But I want to know what you guys think. Have you seen Ant-Man and the Wasp yet? Did you think it was going to do better than what it did? Be sure to leave those comments in the comment box below once again guys if you're finding my channel for the very first time be sure to click that subscribe button until next time as always i'm robert storms and that's my opinion